Well, you know, we love to sell toys down here, and this is a big boy toy if I've ever seen one. 2006 Yamaha electric golf cart right out of Lock Lloyd. Really excellent condition. A couple little spots here and there. Just a little bit of swelling on the leather seats. Charges up great. Runs well. I uh, drove it around the, around the building a couple of times before I drove it in. And for those of you curious as to how we get this out of here, my elevator opens up onto the sidewalk. So we can just take it right out the elevator and into your pickup or your trailer. But uh, just a really good looking, nice golf cart. And I love the blue. It's kind of nice to have a nice, good, strong color. We have a lot of trunks in this auction, including a cute little child size. But we just decided to stack up our trunks and boxes right here from one consigner and some suitcases. There are some nice little wooden boxes. You know, these, this stack here, the five of them. These are nice little tool chests. Again, neat little steamer trunk and nice uh, galvanized boxes. Some household goods out of the Lock Lloyd estate, including the nice Hoover vacuum. A couple of tables haven't gotten placed yet. The Bosch Next front loading washer and dryer system we took right out of the house. The wife said, you know, if I'm going to move, I'm going to get new, some new washer and dryer. So she told the husband, we're they're sending them to the auction too. KitchenAid, neat little Mickey Mouse, toaster, Thomas Kincaid Library Edition printers, nice. Pretty good looking piece. A lot of pictures all the way around. This is a super cool piece, Lake Victorian billiards rack in excellent condition look at that thing it's uh, just beautiful condition a little chip carving there nice egg and dart molding on top we're going to hang this right here on this big brick wall right above the pool church queue church queue and these are pretty cool too they're little old uh, wooden architectural elements I'm not sure what exactly they've been for but just love that big barley twist to barbershop barbershop twist that'd be cool they're from a barbershop how awesome would that be? Painted red, white, and blue. You could easily say that was the case. Nice stacking bookcase. Some housing is there. Let me uh, hit the showcases. We go. This is super cool. I don't even know if the consigner really realized how cool, cool it was. Set of 12 fiberboard goose decoys in the original canvas bag with all the stands. All 12 of them are there. Probably 1920s, 30s. Good little music box, like the little singer sewing machine. The uh, jolly mechanical bank there is in nice excellent old condition light fixtures hanging everywhere folks stereo viewer the shell tin is pretty nice good looking bronze uh, by Hans Müller pretty well known but I could not find that specific bronze on him kind of unusual neat little Pabst Milwaukee beer crate on the bottom of the stack there bunch of pictures there's a nice pencil sign Gil Rumsey in there Fair amount of box lots over here, so you gotta find some place to put all of these yet. Some more to the table. Some miscellaneous glassware. This is a cool little Sears four piece kitchen set, probably from the 60s, I'm gonna guess, by the styling and coloration. And then uh, just a bunch of neat toys from the, uh, the Kansas estate. Some briars, some old uh, figures. The football games are pretty cool. This is a pretty complete Fisher Price McDonald's set. Lots of fun goodies there. Some advertising, some mini lamps. These are pretty much uh, Radiance, Metal Rose, Midnight Rose. This box lot is really cool and really not. It's all, you know, this is a really good cranberry to clear over shot shape, but it's got a chip out of it. There are two of these hanging baskets from a Victorian Apern. There are the two arms for the hanging baskets, but there's nothing else for them. Uh, some Japanese wood blocks, odds and ends. Big, beautiful set of Shelly crystal china. Just the white, it's pretty nice. Big platter, cream sugar, gravy boat, dinner plates, salad plates, cups, saucers, desserts. Nice setting there. Some other odds and ends. Shelly, this entire group here is Shelly. Buttons, the lady who bought did the quilts. The state that those quilts came out of. The buttons came out of this table. There's nothing but buttons. Uh, we'll sell these by the group here and uh, by boxes and everything else. We'll get those more organized. Here's a bunch of linens we have not got out on tables yet from, again, from the Kansas estate. Some neat little uh, tribal African artwork. 
huge collection of books. Not huge, but a lot of, uh, including several reference books. I see railways, old book books, uh, all kinds of good stuff there. Kind of a neat little decorative birdhouse, too. Neat glass decanters, but there's really nice glass inside the case. Some nice carnival, really nice cranberry, coin spot, hobnail, Fenton, Jack in the Pulpit, Peach Blow. A real nice little group of carnival glass bowls here. This shelf is nothing but Waterford. And then more good glass in the bottom is pretty nice. Van Bregel, two pairs. This cute little thing is Van Bregel as well. Oh, it's been broken. So that was something else then. Nice little rose And this big pot here is by far the biggest piece of Van Bregel I've ever seen. And it is signed Van Bregel. Nice Van Bregel lamp as well. Master Crafter's clock working all the way. The fireplace is rolling. Ooh, and it's chilly today too. First chilly day of the fall. I'm kind of getting excited about it. Neat, gilt, gessoed architectural element fragment has these big iron brackets on it. I'm not sure what it's from, what it's to, but it's just a cool piece. Cameo glass little tray there, some nice glass work there. Uh, never did ID the pattern on this, but it's just a good little stack of depression glass plates from the Kansas estate. Silver crush dining plates are kind of hard to find. These are Wedgwood. Love the enamel kitchen set. Lysi Brewing Company pitcher, tankard, and stein. Big stack of Haviland Limoges type trays. There's a little chip here and there. We'll sell them as a stack. Mason's jar has color to it. My staff couldn't figure out why I had this. But look at that. It's yellow. It is not the regular colors. You don't see them very often. Another little Shelly set. Christ. Longo Burger. Royal Bayruth. Wedgwood. Cut glass. Cobalt decorated American, cobalt decorated American, red ring three gallon, some nice pieces here. Love this, and it's an early Roseville stein. It's up to you though to decide what it's worth. Oh, I like that, it's up to you. I have to use that Tuesday night. A couple of nice showcases, beautiful little case here, the doors for it are here, the shelves are for it there, we didn't get them put in yet though. Another couple of nice little tabletops. Nice little crystal chandelier. Let's look at what we got over here. Cool, Edison, big horn with the cylinders, some Native American jewelry, some Hummels, three Hummels, and the pair of bookends, kind of nice. More good Victorian glass on the top of and inside the case, nice little piece of Stuben. Love this enamel piece right there, nice big bowl of colors there. Beautiful little mini lamp there, really sweet. Great old Bible. This piece of glass is awesome. Check out these uh, like overshot white on top of the edge here. And then there's a great pinched form to it. I really have no idea who, what, when, or where. I just like it. Great colors and great form and great size. Phoenix or consolidated. This is pretty cool. A Michael Jordan bowling ball. Never drilled. Oh, dead old stock. Actually, the ring is ours. It looked like it came with it. But uh, Linda told me, no, that's ours. So... Cool, Tiffany Company, their last tray. We have some electronics in this auction too, not like us to do this very often, but uh, a doctor's office is upgrading to brand new technology, and these, which I think are four years old, just needed to be gone. So these are tablets. I can't do this one-handed. Oh, there we go. They are completely separate. And they plug in, and they all worked. Uh, there are extra parts and some pieces, some of the cracked screens down there, but uh, Sully's Choice, a couple of nice little, uh, nice little group of stuff there. Oh, got a cuckoo clock, a sculpture, hey, the, the Curzure, Seizure, ship sculpture is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite pieces, the Loose Brothers Biscuit Box. Kansas City, Missouri, Loose Brothers, Loose Park, anyone? Pretty neat piece, and it's got a nice stamp on the other side, too. Neat piece of contemporary artwork here, and the artist on this is Zheng Taifeng. This is the C. And uh, the regular is $3,900 from the gallery here, John Stephen Gallery. The deluxe is $4,500, I don't know which is which, but uh, you know, th over $3,000 for sure to buy that piece new from the gallery. Another light fixture, Armani. 
nice group of glassware. This jar isn't very old. I just think it was cool. Uh, I love the Lattesino, the pink, some Rama pieces. Nice groups of tiles. Several different groups here, some nice Spanish, but this is the box here. These are all Rookwood. And actually, our tile is incorrect here. There are 20 that are either beige or cream and seven pinkish. So there's 27 Rookwood tile in this box. And check that out. They're hollow, or they're pierced. Kind of unusual. More good glass. Again, more good Lattesino. Love the uh, caned bells. And you guys I love, know I love red. That's a pretty cool little Saturn ball. More tiles. Pretty sure the Pepsi-Cola thermostat or thermometer is an old one. Good old double dot. M32 on the bottom. Good looking piece. And you guys may or may not believe me, but uh, this came from a completely separate estate. Another circus canvas spill the milk. I'm sure it's for the milk bottle game. She's gone head over heels here. And this one's actually signed by Don Lutton from Lacine, Kansas. And if you do some checking on it, you can know that he advertised in Billboard magazine in the late 40s, early 50s, and said that he was, you will never be disappointed in his work. And except for a little monkey foot there, I think he got it pretty good. It's a pretty good looking image here. It's a little larger, it's about 8 foot tall by 20 feet long, so it must have stretched the side of a canvas tent. Dig the Victorian chairs here, ready to be recovered. I love the medallion, the facial, the, the, the medallion plaques there. Some contemporary furnishings here, nice little sofa and armchair wing back. This set here is Laura Ashley, is that right? Laura Ashley home for Kincaid. Nice little china or buffet, table and six. Glass, custom glass top. Uh, obviously you can take it with you, but there's also a leaf. So if you wanted to use the leaf, you'd have to uh, get rid of the glass top. Some more electronics. These are, again, out of the Locke Lloyd estate. Mozart Media Lab. Uh, Glamour of XPC, there's a Logitech piece there, and this is a uh, Seagate object there. Folks, it's going to be a fun auction, probably 10.30 or so, I'm going to guess. There's a fair amount. Uh, a lot of it's going to sell in choices and groups, but uh, of course there's some nice big highlights. The Yamaha golf cart, good furniture, another circus banner, this one's signed though. The Bosch is good, the good furniture, love the pew cue. Q-Rack. Just a lot of fun stuff all the way throughout the auction, folks. Look forward to seeing you on Tuesday night. Have a great weekend, and we will see you soon.